Our top story tonight, 36 students in Ozaki County were on their way to school this morning when a car ran a stop sign and crashed into them, spinning the bus 180 degrees and knocking it onto its side. Eight students were taken to the hospital after that crash. Officials and neighbors say too many accidents happen at that intersection. As CBS 58's AJ Bayapur explains what makes that intersection so dangerous and the changes school officials are now pushing for. Typically, silence is what defines this rural intersection in northern Ozaki County. You drive by 99% of the time, there's nobody there. But a little before 7.30 Monday morning. But this is that 1%. Ozaki County authorities say a Jeep driven by a 32-year-old West Bend woman blew a stop sign and hit a school bus. The impact overturned the bus. 36 students in the Random Lake School District were on board, their ages ranging from elementary to high school. We have some broken bones, we have some bumps and bruises, um, and, and we have some physical things that at this time looks like they will heal. Superintendent Michael Trimberger says the most serious injuries included broken bones and concussions. Thankfully, none of the injuries were life-threatening. That is a problematic intersection in our county, um, so we had a uh, different and previous crashes at that intersection. The driver of the Jeep was going east on J Road. Sheriff Knoll says investigators think the position of the sun at that time of morning made it harder for her to see the stop sign. She missed it and T-boned the bus as it was going north on County Highway E. The impact caused the bus to do a 180 degree spin. It then flipped onto its side and ended up in the ditch. There is no indication of any criminal violations in this crash. Knowles says there's no reason to think the driver was distracted by anything other than the sun. And she let us use her phone and search her phone. There is, there is no indication that calls were made, text messages were sent, nothing to that nature. Both law enforcement and school officials say they're looking at making safety upgrades at the intersection. I'm going to, to try to help as much as I can to get rumble strips. In the meantime, they remind drivers... If you cannot see the road, you should not be traveling the speed limit. Slow down. Even when it seems like there's no one else around, we are sharing the road. Incidents like this uh, wreck weeks, wreck lives. So let's slow down. In the town of Fredonia, A.J. Bayapur, CBS 58 News.